When winter arrives, the selection of jackets and coats is always difficult. Nevertheless, several models work well in all patterns and can quickly become essentials. Take the example of the trench coat. It became almost indispensable. The designers have fun working it in innovative ways every season. Il y a des trenches qui sont un peu le light motif de la collection. There are trenches that are kind of the light motif of the collection, but playing with it in a completely new way. So there are trench coats with patchwork on the back, with inside materials that you can just about see, because the outside is very different. Or collars and shearling. Shearling is very present in this collection. And shearling, the shearling is very present in the collection. As suggested by Anna Zenya, the simple collar in black velvet or padded works well and dresses up the outfit. Of course, after the trench effect and the play on with colours, we quickly return back to the basics. The three-quarter length coat in shades of black and grey, some of the play on textures, others figure hugging. I love the idea of playing with these real menswear codes, whether it be these real city things like the sartorial tailoring, things that are very strict, but also playing with all the codes of, uh, of the countryside. So all these little quilted jackets, all the corduroy and all the, all the different fabrication. It is true that materials like the old carts return and are created tastefully bringing charm. Another trend, and for the big cold, are the large coats and also those that are long and which go back to the army trend. Because the military spirit is present this season in a khaki colour for straight coats and long ones worn like an officer. This leads us to discuss the last material in vogue, leather. Whether it's for sportswear parka, a cloak or a trench coat, leather is widely used and becomes a prominent element in the male wardrobe.